Good. I, I really like the vibe of this show. I don't know. I, I think there's something in the UK about people that, you know, there's so much um, talent, so much cool factor and creativity, but at the same time, people are humble. You know, I spend a lot of time also working in the US. It's, it's just a different vibe. I, I, I like how down to earth people are here. I'm going to be on tour. I have a, a world tour that I'm starting in April. I will be in the studio recording more. I have lots of music still um, to record and um, that, that's, that's what I'll be doing. That's my, that's my year. My goal is always to communicate through the music. How else can I do that? So... How many do you think we should upload like? So I'm going to do... And we're kind of just rolling with it right now. Yeah. I think that at some point it'll sink in. It's, ob it's obviously was like a, a box that we wanted to check theoretically, but you know, you take everything with a grain of salt with these things because you know we don't go into the studio to win awards. But these things are so fun, and I think our whole philosophy is just to have a good time at these things. And and it's nice to come back for me, and I know Harry. Just nice to come back to the UK and celebrate here it feels like oh you know there's a part of us that was out there being like we're british winning that you know and then to come back and be able to do this bring it home for the brits it feels a bit like a celebration do you know what i mean i do a good meatloaf impression but i'm not gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite british slang like phrase um wicked just so cool um n never expected something like this to happen watching this from my house with my like my parents since I was a kid, you know, like um, we all know, like you don't find your validation, you don't look for your validation in achieving something like a, a trophy when it's attributed to anything that you love doing because you don't need it, it's given you everything already. So um, to, to come here with the reminder in your head that you're celebrating and respecting music as a craft and a hobby and something that lights up your heart, gives you purpose, no award or accolade or flag in the ground can ever match that. <laughs> wanted to be comfortable, I wanted to wear colour and I wanted to have my bump out because like, anything on it just feels claustrophobic. And like, I can eat bread and no one knows. And I feel like if I get pregnant I'd like to do that as well. I yeah, think it's like just a, let it go. Yeah. I've, I've waited my whole life for this moment and I want to celebrate it and enjoy it. I love Sam. I love Sam. I actually, um, me and Sam are from the same town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend who's over there, uh, his dad used to perform in a pantomime with Sam. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sam will be like, why are you saying that? Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really, really happy for all of Sam's success. And also Kim Petrus is a long term friend and collaborator of mine. And I'm very, very happy for her success. And I, um, I heard they're performing tonight and I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing their performance because I just feel like it's really important to represent queer culture on a large scale and that's what they're doing and I think that that is so honest and true and exciting for culture and for music. So we actually made these, so we kind of had the vision, we, we really went corsets and like this big a cage. Kind of cage dress vibe, <laughs> yeah. so we went away and worked on them for a week and then, yeah. And who would you most want to chill with? Oh, it was like three different things, yeah, so it's like, not very cool, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Great, I'm excited, I feel like this is going to be the real Brits because you know, now everyone's allowed to talk to each other, everyone's allowed to mingle. Last time it was one table and two seats. So it was kind of lonely, you know, we were just like, hi, like, hi. 
So now I feel like it's going to be a nice little raucous party, hopefully. Are there many people left? Are there many left? We're at the O2 on the 15th of September, and I think Shania is the following day. Oh I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got tickets. I'll Anything right you know, just in case you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to stay yeah, the night over and, and literally I come know in. I don't even need to go home. I'll sleep in the dressing room. No. <laughs> I will. You could.